Hello and welcome to Gear Rock Farms. In today's video, we are gonna be checking on our dry cows here next to our farmyard. We're gonna be checking on the electric fence, the little pasture they're in, get some uh, weed whacking done and, and make sure they are good to go and they got water and, and everything's okay back here. So that's the plan for the video. I'll also show you what's going on with some new heifers we have and uh, maybe update you guys on the ducks. But starting up by the yard here, just kind of looking over the electric fence, making sure all the wires are running okay on the insulators, especially while I'm walking alongside them. Checking out our post here. Just making sure everything is a-okay. It looks like River might come with. River, are you coming with? Being this pasture is so close to our yard, there really isn't a whole lot to worry about. But I figured since we gotta do some weed whacking on the other end of the pasture, we'd look things over on our way down there. As you can see here, pasture kind of surrounds our silage pile, our main silage pile. And for those of you that stay up to date with all the videos, you know that we had uh, issues with our tarp during first crop. We did uh, come out later and patch it. I'll show you guys how that's looking as we're going by here. I'm gonna try not to walk on the plastic, but you can see some of our patches, some of that red duct tape. We've got some there, there, there in the middle, and it kind of zigzags back and forth the entire length. It really sucks that that had to happen, that we had to have an issue with the tarp, but at least we caught it and we didn't just throw it all together and, and didn't uh, pay attention to what we were doing because that would have really sucked if we didn't get out there and patch it right away and then I had a bunch of holes, especially right down the center, the entire length of the pile. Oh, that would have made a mess. And thankfully, weather-wise, we've had a pretty decent summer so far when it comes to keeping a silage pile intact. We haven't had any crazy hail or storms or anything like that. The corn, as we're walking by that, that's looking a lot better. That's looking really good. Super happy with how it's looking here now that we've reached tassel. Go over here and get a better look. Then rows are competing with the grass. They're not quite as tall. I'll get in a row or two here. And I think with such a dry start to the year, our residuals didn't quite kick in like they were supposed to, and it wasn't able to control our weeds quite as well. But our corn beat it to canopy, so it's kind of doing its own job now when it comes to weed control. Tassel's looking good. By now our cobs should be pollinated, or at least most of them. Looking at the silks here, we got a couple still turning. Super happy that we're starting to get rain now. And now that I'm towards the other end here, it really doesn't need it, but since it's along our driveway, I'm gonna whack down a couple weeds here along the length of our driveways. I can say too, I found out that the fencer is working. Not the way I would have liked to have found out. I uh, ended up nicking the wire with the, the shafts on the weed whacker and I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a, a zap from that. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the wiring on the weed eater itself. But now we are down on the far end to take care of the, the main project. So I'm gonna weed whack here right along the creek and underneath the fence right where it crosses the creek so that we ensure that uh, it's not grounding out and we keep some good uh, current going through it. So that's the plan for here. I'm down here I can show you how this field's doing 
this is the back side of our creek that tends to be a lot wetter. There's some springs in here along this hillside up against our pasture of the fence line there. As you can see, Dad wasn't quite able to plant the entire field this year. It was a wetter spring to start off with, and then even with the drought later on, it, you still couldn't get in here and plant it. It's still very wet out in there. And you can even see that the weeds are having a hard time growing way out in there. But I believe Dad did spray this. It's just crazy how certain products can't activate without some rain and how much your corn actually does creating a canopy and smothering out the weeds versus what your pesticides are doing. But overall, the corn's looking really good down here, especially in a dry year. This stuff is gonna be some of our better corn on this wetter, heavier soil. We'll walk down by the creek here. That's looking really good down here. It's crazy how much the creek becomes a jungle. Just look at way down in there, just thick. I couldn't imagine trying to keep up all that, especially with these steeper banks. As you can see here, where dad can get in with the tractor and the brush hog, he tries to mow down the banks, especially where the cows are. So if they wanted to, they could get in there and drink. The creek's looking really nice. It hasn't dried up. There's plenty of springs upstream from here. So I think if it ever was to dry up, we'd have problems. But it looks like the dry cows are up here under the shade tree. So we'll go take a look at them and make sure they're doing okay. So here we are up under the Nice shade tree, the nice little apple tree along the fence line here. And the apples are looking surprisingly well. They're starting to come in. I think now with this moisture we've been getting late in the summer here, I think they'll fill out nice. They'll probably be a really rich apple. But anyways, we got four dry cows in here. We have the two brown Swiss, or at least this girl, she's a, a brown Swiss Jersey cross. I believe she's on her third calf number 100 you guys should remember her from that brown swiss video we made she is on her i believe this is going to be her ninth calf she's going to have she's already had eight calves seven lactations so she had a set of twins in there and she is she's getting to be up there in age she's getting to be quite old it's sad to say but i don't think uh she'll have too many more calves here on the farm and then we got the two holsteins in here i believe the ones on her I believe they're both around that fourth or fifth calf. They both look really good too. They all seem pretty happy and content up here. I am sure the camera's picking it up. It is kind of a windier spot up there, so they get a nice cool breeze and they're in the shade. The only downside is then uh, being in the shade, all congregated under a tree like that. As you see, they kind of beat up the ground then the, the flies kind of get after them. It's uh, comfortable other than the flies. Super happy to see that they're all doing good. We just put them in here, I want to say a week ago. I helped Dad bring them over here. A nice little cattle drive. It was funny when we were moving them, there was uh, six or seven switch cows that were also in the barnyard. And we moved them before we let the rest of the milking herd out to pasture. And those switch cows thought we were bringing them to some new pasture. So they followed us here and got real excited and ran through the gate thinking they were getting some new fresh grass. So that was uh, kind of neat to see that they were trained in that well to do that. On our way back here, I'm going to trim up some of the weeds on the top side of the silage pile here. Weed whacking I wanted to do in that pasture is finished. Along the silage pile there, I tried not to get too carried away. Didn't want to accidentally fling a rock or a big stem or something a big stalk from a weed into the the tarp cutting it or anything so took it pretty easy under there just clipping the tops off of weeds happy to see all those cows are doing okay this pasture we do this every year after first crop fence it off and let some dry cows in there for the rest of the summer this year it was a little later due to the drier summer that pasture is normally for our older dry cows instead of sending them up to the back 80. <laughs> I'm sure those of you who raise ducks know how messy they can get. They uh, turn their water to mud in, in no time. So here is one of our newest calves, a little bull calf. He's looking good. He's getting uh, spunky quick. 
That's the one thing with the markets, those of you that keep track of them. Milk really took a dip this summer, but cattle still stayed really high. Bull calves are still bringing a really good price. Lastly here, I wanna show you some of our new milking cows that have just joined the dairy herd. This morning, my dad and my brothers just brought down two new cows. So this white one here just had her calf. This one here in the middle, she is due relatively soon. But then sadly, this black one here, we believe she lost her calf at a stillbirth or something, a premature birth, because we seen a cleaning and, and blood, but no calf, and we don't think she was quite due yet. So we tried to milk her, so hopefully we're able to get her to lactate now so she can become part of the, the dairy herd, but we'll see what will happen there. It's, it's sad to see, it sucks, but it happens, it's, it's part of farming. And then we got this girl, she had her calf a while ago already, but with her, she was up in the pasture, I believe, with the rest of these girls. When we brought them down, she hasn't quite fit into the main dairy herd yet. So she felt at home once these guys were down here back with her friends. So we threw all of them in here for the day. So they hung out in the grass and laid down in the grass rather than hanging out in the barnyard, laying down on the concrete or in the, the dirt out back here since they're all kind of hanging by the yard anyways. But I wanted to end off the video here. It was just a short one for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little farm update, cattle update. Thank you all for sticking to the end. Thank you all for watching. Make sure if you haven't already to like and subscribe, especially if you made it to the end of the video. Also leave plenty of comments. We really enjoy them, but that's gonna be it. And we will see you guys next time.